This is a long recording session for me. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. We are at the Abbey now. I love what I do. Let's break these. On this fucking place had so many mini metals. It's awesome. The heck happened to them? But well, hey, loot's more important. Okay, no loot. What the hell happened here? Somebody save the abbot. Oh feck. I remember it. There might be a cutscene, so I'm gonna do a quick save just in case I have to do that um, weird editing again. Books everywhere. There are many books related to the church and religion here, including A History of Maya Abbey, Chanting Made Easy, and Passage to Neos. What is Neos? Oh, who is he? That jester. Yeah, but someone please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to all of you first, and then I'll look at the books. He, that jester, seemed to be acting normal when he first arrived. But then he suddenly went mad. He started laughing hysterically and ran off up to Holy Father's chamber. I tried to stop him, but even with three of us, three of us tears in my ass, we couldn't stop him. It's after Abbot Francisco. Holy Father's in danger. Cool. We'll, we'll get to him in a minute. We've got books to read. You can't show me a library and be like, oh, go do story stuff. It's a book entitled Puns, The Fire of My Youth. It seems to have been written by Abbot Francisco. Ever since I was a young lad, nothing has excited me so much as the creation of puns. I created a trading regimen by challenging myself to come up with five new gags and ten new puns every day. This book is the fruit of my efforts. It represents my comedic blood, sweat, and tears. Soul was just like, eh. Soul flicked through the page of Abbot Francisco's bad jokes with a chuckle and quietly replaced them. I want to read some. It's rude. I want to read his puns. I love puns. Why are pirates so popular? They just are. Okay, that was a bad one. I did hear a good pun last night. It was uh, two pharaohs that both had gas. They must have had a toot in common. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Oh, that is good. That is good. Ooh, I can read it. A guy walks into a bar. Ouch! Francisco, P.S. I deserve a feather in my cap for that one. We discovered... What? We discovered a new recipe. Feather cap equals... So we put a feather in a cap. I think is what they're getting at there. What? Yeah. E Macarena. Look. He's an old man. <gasps> Shoes! And balls. God, he's creepy looking. So that means, like, we just got here then. Like, right on time. Because he wouldn't just be, like, staring at the Abbot Francisco for fun, right? Just like... I'm gonna wait for some people to show up that I might know. Let me do a quick save. Just in case there's that issue with the uh, glitching. Ooh. Mm. Ugh. What sinister presence lingers in the air? Ooh, that sinister presence again. And who are you? Did you want to speak with me? Yeah, about that amazing mustache and hairstyle. Holy shit, you are a stylish old man. There they are. It's them. What do you mean it's them? We're not the jester. You already got your ass kicked. You know who kicked your ass. You'll be dumb for trying to take Abbot Francisco's life. Yeah, you're wrong. What on earth? What, what's going on? Abbot Francisco, Captain Marcello, at your service, as always. Uh-huh. Ah, Marcello. Tell me, what's happening? There has been a breach of security. Many of the guards have been seriously wounded. Not what? Well... I feared you might be in danger, so I came immediately. And sure enough, we've caught these criminals. 
They've been loitering around the Abbey since midday. I mean, we just can't say hey. It seems we were just in time. I thank the goddess that you're safe. Oh, fuck, you wouldn't do anything. Wait, these people are no criminals. Please, Holy Father, they were caught red-handed. We, we weren't. We were kind of not. Look into their eyes. See their pure hearts. These people are guilty of nothing. I mean, I think Yangus is guilty of quite a bit. But... Very good. But we must find out what they were doing here in your residence so late at night. Uh, we could tell you that. We told there's an evil jester and we saw him float and then he smiled like a feckin' lunatic. At the very least, let us ascertain that. Please. <laughs> you really are a warrior, Marcello. Very well. If you must. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Thank you, Holy Father. You sound so evil. So, shall we go? You're evil, aren't you? Ah, oh, that's my... Yep, you're a bad dude. Now look here! We ain't done nothing wrong! Nothing at all! Yeah, we told you. It was your man who asked us to check up on the abbot. What right have you to keep us here? The abbot is too forgiving. If you're innocent, then who attacked my men? I don't know, why don't you fucking ask him about the jester? I, on the other hand, am not so forgiving. You won't fool me, so don't try. You'll confess in the... In the who is it? In the end? In the torture chamber? You sent for me, Captain. Come in. Wow, oh, Sam. I have a question to ask you. But there's something else first. We've just arrested these intruders in the Abbot's residence. They were attempting to take his life. We weren't. You don't even have proof of that. We have a cute mouse in our pocket. Why would we try to kill an old man? They wounded six of my men. I didn't. <laughs> I was like, why? That's impressive. The problem is this. My guard is watertight. I make sure of that. There's no way for an outsider to get inside the abbey. Unless, of course, they have inside help. And would you believe it? When we searched their possessions, we found this ring. Search and seizure? Templar Angelo, where is your ring? Show it to me now, if you have it. Phew, it's turned up. Thank the goddess. What? What? I'm actually with Marcello on this one. Someone stole it from me at the pub. And it looks like they're about to learn that crime doesn't pay. What? Stole it? What? You little fibber. Yeah, you fibber. We've no use for a ring like that. He set us up. I should have known better than to believe a single word from the mouth of a filthy cheat like you. I have nothing further to say. You can find me in my chambers. Mm-hmm. Wait! We're not done here. Apparently he is. Fine. I'll deal with him later. First things first. You've wasted enough of my time. Don't try my patience. I want answers. What did you plan to do to the abbot? Confess. Save him, I think, was actually the end goal. <sighs> How many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess! What is it now? We found a suspicious monster loitering outside the abbey. Shit, that's not gonna look good. What? What kind of monster? Ooh! That was a mean kick. Ouch! Ugh. What the devil do you think you're doing? 
Yeah, that's not gonna look good. Yo, youngest Jessica, what are you all doing in here? Ah, oh, shit. You were gone for such a long time. I was getting rather worried. So I just decided to come and look for you when this. <laughs> Can you stop in her So, this monster is a friend of yours, then? So much for your pure hearts. You know, not all monsters are bad. There's plenty of nice goose slimes out there. What's wrong with you? Unhand me at once, you insolent ruffian! Get him off me! Wow. You are in league with the monster. You may have deceived Abbot Francisco, but you don't fool me. So what you're saying is you think Abbot Francisco is stupid. That's tr Trump, uh, uh, what's the word when you go against your country again? Treason? Treason, that's treason. It was the monster who Thank ordered you. you to steal the ring and infiltrate the Abbey, was it? You cursed heathens. Thought you could scare people by killing the Abbot, did you? No. Make them question their faith? No. And then move in and take control? I suppose. God, you are creative, sir. Sounds like your fucking goals. Take these monstrosities to the cells. Come dawn tomorrow, I will have you tortured. Perhaps then you will realize the gravity of the sins you have committed. Fuck you, Marcello. <laughs> Until sunrise, then. Sleep well. That's an Iron Maiden attack. <sighs> Trode, you, you gotta know that you're a monster at the moment. I'm not a monster, I'm a king! Blast every one of those Templar twerps! There's no point screaming. We've got to use our heads to get out of this cell. Can't you think of anything? Why do I have to think of something? You're the sorceress with the massive... Wisdom score. What a bleeding nerve! We ain't done nothing! Let us out of here! Uh, what do I do? Do I just talk to people multiple times? Oh, something's happening. Shh! Someone's coming! Those boots are pretty cool. I'll give them that. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Oh, fuck you, man. Uh, come here, you! Now, now, control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps you will accept this as conciliation. Maybe. What are you up to? The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Hmm. What is this guy up to? Follow me. Yeah, yeah. The guards up ahead. Right, no one make a sound, okay? <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. I seasoned his supper with a generous oh. pinch of sleeping powder. Okay, dragging people. Perfect. It worked. Sleeping like a baby. Very good. Hey. Okay, through here. Why are we the torture? We're room? safe in here. You can talk again now. Good. Tell us what's going on. What ordeal do you intend to put us through next? Hmm? Yeah. Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? I suppose. Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen before. Why does well, everyone what pick is him it? up? He's so okay with it. Wow, that's bad. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. 
the fuck is why is no one stabbing him? I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad. Eh? <sighs> Um. Huh? Ooh. Can you hear me out there? There's a secret passage in here. Could, could have just told us, but that is pretty funny. I'll give you that. Like I said, not bad, eh? Pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> if we hang around too long, they'll catch me helping you escape. Let's move. Rustin stained Iron Maiden leers menacingly. Climb inside. That's the spirit. That's such a weird sentence. Hey, it's menacing. Wanna get in? What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. Oh, I wonder why. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. Figured that one out. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good, but you still don't know us from Adam. Yeah. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught, but I do know you saved the abbot's life. Hmm. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. Hang me out to dry. That's and besides, awesome. I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. Jessica's boobs save us again. This leads outside. Oh shit. I mean, Trode, if you're a king, you should probably not go first. We should, so we can kind of protect you, you know? <gasps> oh, Medea, what's up? Oh, that's that fucking place I went into and I was like, well, this is useless. Medea! My Medea! You're safe. Right, he doesn't know about the weirdness yet. Were you lonely without me? There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. <sighs> the princess and I will go on ahead. Make sure you're not too far behind. Yes. And I was just like, princess. princess. Oh, oh, so he's literally gonna ask. Thank you. Whatever. Come on, let's go. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, I would like to find. I would like to go. Can I go back into the abbey to save? Oh, that's a thing. The bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely mm. that jester didn't come back again. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot. Yes. Suppose we're gonna help. Um, you know, fun fact, you can do this. Um. Mela Abbey. Yeah, I ran to other places searching for that feckin' clockwork cuckoo. Didn't ever find it. Please tell me I can save up here. Hopefully there's like a priest outside that's like, Oh, I want to play the game. I can have to play the game. You. Do not panic. It's just a small fire in the kitchen. We'll soon have it. I don't... I don't know, man. What brings you to our church? Yes. Let's do a quick divination. So, Sol is really far away. Yangus is pretty far away. And Jessica is pretty far away. Okay, it'll be a while till we level up. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This was a pretty darn long recording session for me. I'm not sure if it's two or three episodes worth. But it, it does break my mold of, you know, 
saying hello and goodbye every like 30-ish minutes. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed these these past few sessions. Uh, and I I just I've been looking forward to playing this game again. So I was like, fuck 30 minutes. I'm gonna just go until I'm like, oh, I need to stop. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next uh, group of episodes, and bye-bye for now.